Vedic versus Western astrology, quadrant house systems versus whole sign systems. Astrologers tend to get into a lot of debates amongst themselves as to which system is better. Now, for my own part, I don't personally entertain contentious debates about which system is better. And when anyone tries to approach me with a debate, a contentious one about which system is more is superior, I just kind of, I refrain first of all from getting too involved in that conversation, but I make a mental note of where that person is. And I just note to myself that that place that they're coming from is a very polarized place. Now, I work in the Western system, but I had a very interesting experience recently where I got the chance to listen into a Vedic astrologer, or a well-respected and also experienced Vedic astrologer, give a consultation to a client. And it struck me as I sat in, as I listened to that conversation, listen to that consultation that the paths to the mountain top are rich and very varied and Vedic astrology has its own elegance as does the Western system. It's not a cop-out argument but it really is just the recognition that there are many many ways of getting value. There are many ways of, there are many systems that can give a client value and actually relay valuable and very meaningful information. Now, there are many astrologers, maybe not many, maybe a few, who actually use both systems and they have worked out uh, which contexts and which scenarios to use each system. So as somebody who is fluent in both tarot and astrology, although astrology was my first love, I began to study it when I was 11 years old. I found a book in my aunt's attic and it just called itself to me. It was one of those moments in life where you just know it's just kind of, maybe you could say ordained, but I found this book and I knew as I read it at 11 years old that it was just, it was right. It was more of a recognition, an intuitive recognition of something that was true rather than me being curious about whether it was valid. A part of me already knew that it was and I just went along with that. As somebody who has had a lot of time to observe astrology in the Western system, as somebody who has practiced tarot as well and is fluent in both, um, I also recognize that Sometimes when a client comes in, certain questions are uh, better suited to different tools. So tarot tends to perhaps do very well with situational guidance and astrology tends to now provide the broader, let's say, developmental or even um, evolutionary perspective. The, the, the developmental trajectory of a person, that kind of broader outline, and then tarot now will give or allow me to fish out uh, more situational advice or guidance. So just like I have intuited what client scenarios go best with what tool and how to work with both, these astrologers who use both the Western and the Vedic system they apply it to different contexts and scenarios. So from the get-go, those people have worked out that there's no need for a polarized, contentious debate. They see the elegance in both systems, as have I, having listened in to this guy. And it was a fantastic experience to just actually listen to another practitioner conduct his consultation. It was very eye-opening for me, yeah? So that's really important to understand that there are different paths to the mountaintop. Now, as somebody who is primarily concerned with the therapeutic benefit, the counseling benefit of astrology, my goal is to give a client something meaningful, uh, something that inspires them, something that nourishes them, something that uplifts them. So my 
ultimately my test for any astrological system or any application of astrology is what benefit does the client derive so if a client comes and sits down and gets some useful perspective from somebody who's using the Vedic system then that's fine if somebody comes and gets some very useful per perspectives from somebody using the Western system then that's great so I am principally concerned with what therapeutic benefit the client is getting the other thing to realize is that and I always say this perhaps at the risk of sounding like a broken record the astrologer is much more important than the astrology you hear me the astrologer is much more important than the astrology the, the astrologers beliefs their ideas about uh, personal power and responsibility those things filter the information that the intuitive information that an astrologer will get and his or her ability to really convey um, useful and empowering perspectives so I am much more concerned about the astrologer and their personal integrity their views on personal power and human responsibility and the extent to which they can really now leave their client feeling much more empowered with a sense of grace and with a sense of dignity so no doubt there will be astrologers in the Vedic system who can do that and those who can't there will be astrologers in the Western system who can do that and those who can't so that fundamental belief system that fundamental worldview that the individual astrologer has is going to be really 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 important astrology and intuitive disciplines are personal art forms so when we speak about the Western system or the Vedic system each astrologer within that system within those systems have their own approaches some Western astrologers don't like to use midpoints some use solar arc directions some use asteroids some don't whatever system you're using doesn't allow us to escape the fact that intuitive disciplines are very much individualized art form so there's no need for us to really try to impose this idea of which system is better because really and truly um, when we interrogate what the system actually means in practice each astrologer will have a different sort of variation of that system so practically when a client comes into an, a consultation or for a reading um, the way that the individual astrologer will approach that client even within a Western system or a Vedic system it will be very very different from each other they have their own individual approaches using uh, different techniques within each system yeah some people say that the Vedic tradition is actually superior because it has this long historical lineage this long oral tradition this long a system of, of masters uh, passing it down. I'm going to say just quite frankly that I am no respecter of tradition anymore in that kind of sense because the energy now on the planet is so supportive of a direct and very personal connection to spirit, a very personal and direct connection to higher levels of intuitive knowing there's no more need for this guru type of system anymore the the energy on the planet right now is much more supportive of um personal and inner revelation personal spiritual revelation that comes from the inside without a middleman yeah so i don't think that we need to be so concerned about the tradition of things if you are engaging with an intuitive system you are actually as well um, you are going to other timelines and you're going to other places in the lines of time where you would have engaged with that type of information so for example if you're doing astrology now and you're attracted to that you're probably now reawakening or reactivating in the present timelines that you had actually interfaced with that material so you have that direct timeline access in the now so there's no need to have that 
type of guru tradition anymore because there's just so much the architecture of energy is allowing us to um, retrieve those memories of the information that we would have had in other lifetimes and other timelines it's allowing us to now bring that down into the present finally the guides remind me that astrology doesn't belong to anybody it doesn't belong to anyone and the the thing that fundamental underlying energetic architecture that makes astrology useful and valid it is so beyond our human consciousness it's so it's so beyond our linear human mind that of course when we begin to get a little glimpse of it we want to now package it and put a system on it and say this system is better but they remind me that it doesn't belong to anybody so let us accept that as human beings we have different ways of interacting with this architecture of energy that it will now be imposed onto our culture it will be imposed onto our paradigms and the different ways in which we choose to interact with this kind of energy and with these systems of knowledge is beautiful in, in its own right it's valid and beautiful in its own right so that just brings us back to some humility what makes astrology valid and useful that vast energy architecture is way beyond our thought process in the first place and we don't need to argue about it but we simply need to have the humility to just recognize that wow we live in an amazingly vast system of consciousness and that there is meaning and purpose and a pattern a pattern a meaningful pattern to our existence so if you want to know about the more technical aspects of how the systems are different vedic versus western there's loads of um, online resources loads of articles on that just simply google vedic versus uh, western and you'll get a sense of um, how they're different my job was just to uh, contextualize and provide a framework for the very discussion and how we approach the the question of which one is better so that was my job today but there's loads of information on how the systems actually technically speaking uh, differ from each other although I'm gonna say that a lot of the times these articles are quite just be mindful of, of what they say because sometimes they can be a little bit off base and they do sometimes reflect the biases of the person writing them so just do your own research and figure out um, you know figure out what these differences are and perhaps you talk to somebody who uses both systems yeah so this can be a really kind of contentious topic people definitely hold very steadfastly to their opinions on which one is better but yeah leave me a comment below and let me know what you think thanks for watching until next time bye